Hello. In this video, we are going to see how Copado is helping us with the Salesforce deployments. Let's get started. Salesforce deployments. As we all know, Salesforce basically uses the metadata to move the changes from one org to another org. We can do that with the help of multiple tools that we have. Out of those, few of the tools are like and we can use Workbench. Now, what if I tell you this process can be automated? Yeah, we all know that the pain of extracting the metadata. For that, we need to prepare the package.xml, telling the Salesforce that what all things that we need to extract from the org that we're connected to. Post that, we need to use this package.xml along with our credentials so that we can retrieve the package which has the metadata of the components that we have asked for. Folder structure in case if you are using and you would get this zip file with all the components that you have asked for. Now the process is once you have these files, we need to again use other tools, let's say and or workbench to deploy these changes to the target org. You would feed in the zip file in case if you are using Workbench. You would feed in that folder structure to the destination org with the credentials that you wanted to use to so that you can connect to the target org and you would start this deployments. So the major time consuming activity in this entire process of retrieval and deployment is preparing your package.xml, extracting that content, post that, checking all those content if everything is fine, then redeploying to the target org. So the process is from the source, you would extract or retrieve the content to the target org, you would deploy those changes. Let's see this scenario with the help of an example. Let's say if I have created an object in my dev org, I've created an object along with two fields in my dev org. Now, if I have to move these changes to the UAT for testing, post testing, if I have to move it to the production, I have to use the process of deployment here. So what I would do, I would use tools like Ant and Workbench to connect to this dev org, extract those metadata, extract that metadata with the help of this Ant and Workbench or the other tools that you have. And once that metadata is there, you would again take that metadata and deploy it to the UAT org. I'm using Workbench as a tool here to demonstrate this example. You can also use AND for your reference. Now, if I have to get this object in two fields moving to the other orgs, one of the options that I have is Workbench. So if I have to use this Workbench, what I need to do is I need to extract that metadata. For that, I need package.xml. So I need to prepare that package.xml. I need to provide the members of the objects that I want to retrieve. Post that, I need to feed this package.xml to the workbench and I need to use the option called retrieve so that I can extract the developed changes. My end goal is to get this developed form of metadata, which is in the XML format. So why I need this in XML format? so that I can deploy these changes to the upcoming orgs or the orgs that I wanted this deployment to happen. Once I have this content, again, I need to log in into the other org using my workbench. So let's say if I want to deploy these changes to the UAT org, I need to connect to this org and I need to deploy these changes to this org. So again, we need to, we need to give the input of the zip file the zip file would have the objects in this scenario, it would have the objects and it would have that package.xml which would tell the workbench on what all items that we are deploying. Proceed with this option called deploy. So that once the entire, if there are no errors, we would be able to deploy those changes to this UAT org. Now, the process here, preparing the package.xml, extracting it, again feeding to the other org would be time consuming activity so what if I tell you there is an automated process that we can use? So the drawbacks with this approach is one, 
it's a time consuming activity two it's a manual effort every time three it needs a basic understanding of xml format so that you you can prepare that package.xml and then feed it to the workbench or to your and tool to get your extract and post that you need to make sure that you are connected to the right org and deploy it so these are the three three drawbacks with this approach where you are basically relying on package.xml preparation and using this approach to get this what are the tools that they need to deploy they can do it with the point and click method yes you have guessed it right we are using copado as a continuous deployment tool here to move our changes from one org to another org let's see how that is done